Hi, I'm Greg, an engineer with Crucial. And I'm Elaine, the channel marketing manager at Crucial. And today, I'm gonna show Elaine how easy it is to install the new Crucial P310 2230 NVMe SSD into the ROG Ally. Let's do it, Greg. All right. Now, unless you're installing the SSD into a brand new handheld, you wanna make sure to store any of your important files onto either an external storage drive or to a cloud-based storage service before the installation. Okay. And then we wanna make sure that the battery level has dropped below 25% before we begin. Okay, and we are already there in terms of battery, we right? Are. We've used it. Okay. We are already <laughs> below 25%, exactly. Now, before we get started, we wanna make sure we have a clean workspace to prevent the buildup of static electricity. Okay. It's a good idea to use an anti-static mat like we have here. Yeah, perfect. Excellent. And then we'll make sure we gather all our supplies um, we're going to need a screwdriver. Um, a pair of tweezers may come in handy. A pick, something like this, similar to a guitar pick, just okay. to help us get the back panel off can be helpful. Okay. Um, we'll, of course, make sure we want to have our ROG Ally and the owner's manual. Which I can still get online if I need to, right? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. If you don't have the hard copy, right. we can download it online. Okay. And then, of course, your new Crucial SSD. Awesome. Now we want to make sure that any cables are unplugged, um, the power to the unit is powered off, and there's no SD cards uh, okay. inserted yeah, into the slot. Okay. So right. okay. I think we're ready. Ready to get started? Yeah. So we'll start by flipping it over and exposing the six screws that secure the back plate. So we'll okay. remove those six screws. Okay. Oh, and then we'll put them. Here, yes, like we actually have a magnetic mat that makes it very handy to keep track and, and not lose the screws. If you don't have something like that, you can use an ice cube tray, a little pill uh, container. Okay. Um, and one thing to note is only five of these screws will be able to remove completely. Okay, this, so this one will stay. bottom, middle one, exactly, will stay intact. But as long as we get it loosened, the back plate will still come off. Perfect. perfect. And so left. And this one. is the one that won't come all the way out, but you Bottom should one. hear a clicking oh, sound okay. once you've gotten it all the way up. Okay. Okay. And so then I don't need to. Now you're on. good to go. Okay. Now we're going to remove the back panel. And in order to do that, it does help to use a pick, similar okay. like a guitar pick, to kind of help um, wedge in between the grooves on the side. It's good to kind of start on one of the sides. Okay. Just to separate that? Yes, exactly. Get a little separation. And the back okay. plate should come right off. Oh, okay. excellent. Like that. That's okay. perfect. Now, you see this black flap right here? That yeah. will need to be removed. You can do, use tweezers if you like. There's okay. just a sticky film that, that holds that oh. in place. So it should oh, be pretty easy That's to pull pretty. off. Yeah. And then we'll unplug the battery, which is right here. You'll gently pull that back okay. to unplug. Excellent. And now we'll remove the SSD that's currently installed. Okay. So use a screwdriver to remove Just the set one. screw. Yep. Okay. It's a small one. All right. Perfect. And then you'll gently remove the SSD from by holding the sides of the PCB. Okay. We're just pulling it out. Oh, wow. Perfect. That came out nice pretty easy. simple. And now we'll replace that with our crucial SSD. Okay. And you'll and insert that at about a 30 degree angle, just okay. like that. And you want to be gentle. You don't want to. You don't need to apply too much force. Okay. And then we can go ahead and replace the set screw that holds it in place. Okay. You want to be careful not to over tighten that as well. Okay. So in just like, just like that. that. Okay. That's perfect. All right. Now we will reinsert the battery plug. Okay. Just gonna push that, that in. back in. Okay. Perfect. And now we can put the black flap back in place. And, and you see the notch will line up with the um, oh, I see the set screw there. Okay. That's perfect. Right. Okay. Now we're ready to put the back plate back on. Right. And it should snap back in place. And if you move around the outside and make sure that you hear the clips snapping back in. Oh. There okay. we go. There. Excellent. And now we'll replace the the five screws that you removed and okay. tighten the one that would not come out. Okay putting these all in. Well, Greg, this actually wasn't that hard. It's really not. Yeah. It's really not. And now you can go out to the ASUS support website for the instructions on how to boot into BIOS and reinstall your OS. Awesome. And now you have plenty of storage for all your games. Well, that's the best part. Absolutely. And if you have any questions about the Crucial P310, please visit crucial.com. Thanks for watching.